This is a big story. Facebook did not allow Laura Trump who is the uh, daughter-in-law of President Trump uh, she's married to one of Trump's sons she tried to interview former President Donald Trump and post the interview on Facebook and Facebook would not allow it because they said that Donald Trump's voice could not be heard on their platform. This is outlandish and it's crazy to me how many members of the Blue Checkmark Brigade are cheering blatant censorship? What has happened in America and I, I don't think most people have recognized this or certainly hasn't been talked about in a big way. China has the Great Wall of China for the internet, right? They filter what people in China are able to see the government does in an effort to promote nationalism and respect for their country. They don't have a free and open internet. What has happened in the United States is instead of the United States government making the decision to ban uh, what can and cannot be seen on the internet big tech companies are all colluding and conspiring in cahoots to ban the President of the United States Donald Trump from being able to entertain and be a part of the larger marketplace of ideas. In a democracy this should be incredibly chilling precedent to anyone out there because if Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and all these other social media companies YouTube can decide to ban the democratically elected President of the United States from being able to speak out in political related issues they can ban anybody that they want and for people out there who say well just create your own social media company they also banned Parler from being able to exist. Apple wouldn't carry the app. Facebook wouldn't allow uh, it to be distributed. Like all these different crazy things are going on right now. We have effectively allowed big tech to adopt the exact same internet policies as exist in China. In China you can't be seen on the internet if you make the government upset In America you can't be seen on the internet if you make big tech upset. It's a monopoly. It's wrong. It's chilling. It should be terrifying to anybody Democrat, Republican or Independent that they can shut down distribution like this and not allow at the time democratically elected President of the United States to speak to the country as a whole. It's absolute insanity. Uh, They won't even allow his voice to be heard now on Facebook. I don't understand how this is not a monstrously large story regardless of your politics. I am a First Amendment absolutist. I believe in the marketplace of ideas and I don't believe that big tech companies through their monopolies should be able to curtail what you or I or anyone else see. I'm so glad to own OutKick and have the ability to spread my views through my own media company but most Americans don't have that ability right now and it is a severe and incredibly serious issue that we are facing regardless of your politics. Banning Trump was the wrong idea the wrong precedent and it should be chilling to anyone out there. 